Hi everyone and welcome back to Waterhouse Ford. Well as you can see I've now been working on the paddock mower. It's the Del Marino, um, it's called actually a finishing mower, uh, but we use it on the paddocks uh, as you've seen in previous videos uh, towed behind the international tractor. Um, I'm gonna, I haven't filmed the whole thing, um, I kind of figured you, you guys have probably seen enough of me stripping down mowers and, and putting them back together again. Um, but I thought for this video i would just give you a couple of highlights, um, just a few little bits and pieces, essentially as I start putting it back together again. As you can see I've already stripped it, um, already cleaned up all the parts and replaced the bearings in the hubs. Um, so those are now spinning nice and freely. Um, they were quite um, gritty to start with. Uh, last time I replaced these bearings was two years ago, um, so it's done two seasons on those bearings. Uh, one thing I noticed when I took it apart this time is that the, uh, the bearings had basically, or the hubs, had popped the seals. So it has a remote greasing uh, system, so it has these pipes which run through to a um, remote grease nipples on the front and I think basically it's been over pressured um, or I've been over pressuring it and it's been basically popped the oil seals or the uh, the grease seals on the bearings which means that basically the, the grease was just coming out top and bottom all over the place. So what I've decided to do this time is to drill a small hole um, like a telltale hole in the body of the hub above the, where the, the heart of the grease nipple. So what that means is that when grease starts, first of all that will relieve the pressure it also means that when grease starts coming out of that telltale hole then you know that the, the hub is full. Now unfortunately when you put all the covers back on the mower you're not actually going to be able to see that telltale uh, but at least it will relieve the pressure and what I figured was that probably every few weeks uh, it's actually quite easy just to pop the covers off. Um, it's just four bolts that hold the covers on. Uh, and what I thought is I'll just quickly pop the covers off, do the greasing, and then I can see and actually tell what's going on inside there rather than run the risk of popping the, those uh, seals again. Anyway, so like I say, for this video I'm just going to show you a few small bits uh, as, I, as I continue to put the mower back together again. It's not going to be a long video uh, and it will mostly be um, sped up and, uh, and with, a, with a bit of music to entertain you. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it and uh, yeah, we're going to try and get this mower finished today. So um, hope you hope you enjoy it. Okay, I realized uh, as I was uh, just reviewing that intro that uh, you couldn't see the part for the remote greasing. So I'll just show you here quickly. So going into the hub, you've got this um, adapter uh, and that obviously joins to this part. The part comes up. I haven't put this side on yet. Uh, that'll basically sit. There's a plate that sits over here um, and that comes through a hole uh, and you have the remote nipples. In fact, let me show you the plate. There you go. So that plate sits on there and you've got your, your three grease nipples here, uh, one for each hub. I'll show you as I put it all together, I'll show you how that's done. Okay, follow along and uh, see how we go. Thank you. 
Okay, we've now come to the point where we need to set the belt tension. Uh, obviously these are nice and loose at the moment. The good thing is you've got this um, adjuster bolt at the back here, which basically pulls this uh, gearbox over, obviously tightening the belts as it goes. And that also then obviously helps to self-center everything. Now, we want these belts to be tight enough to maintain tension, um, but we don't want them to be too tight, because if the blades hit something hard, something solid, you basically want the belts to give. There's no other there's no like um, clutch or, or anything or, or, or uh, shear pins on the drive on this machine. So the um, safety mechanism is actually the belts. Now, I'm thinking that's probably enough. I'll probably just take it up a little bit more. So we've got permanent tension on there. Too much. Back a bit. This right hand side is a bit looser than the left hand side. I'm not entirely sure why. Possibly the belt is a little bit st more stretched. Um, but look, it's tight enough. So then all we do is we just lock this lock nut. And uh, that holds obviously the tension, and then we just tighten these up to uh, hold it in place. Great, job done. So now we can put the um, straps back on and obviously fit the top in. And um, then we can put the covers on and the, uh, and the mower is finished.
Right, well there you go. Uh, annual service completed on the paddock mower and uh, you can now go out to the field and uh, do some work knowing or at least being confident that the um, all the bearings are, are good, wheels have uh, been serviced and uh, belt tension is, is, is right. So I'm going to go out and uh, do some mowing and we'll see how it, how it runs but um, everything seems seems fine. We I didn't film it but we did grease up the, um, the hubs using these, uh, these remote greasing points. It's, um, there wasn't really much to show to be honest, you just keep pumping until a little bit of grease comes out of the telltale hole and um, that's pretty much it. So um, again, listen, thanks very much for, for following along. Um, we're now done with all of the uh, mowing equipment. Um, so the next video is going to be the annual service on the International. And uh, that will be done, it's relatively straightforward. It's really just oil filter, fuel filter, we'll clean up the air, filter oil bath, uh, make sure that that's nice and clean and get some, some fresh oil in there. I am going to reset the tappets because um, I'm, I'm detecting a little bit of tappet noise uh, on this engine. And then uh, you can probably see my exhaust pipe is not uh, particularly straight. Um, that's the problem with having trees all the way around the field. Unfortunately, they, uh, they do sometimes get in the way. And then the other job that I want to do, I, um, I'm going to be replacing this um, lift arm adjuster. Um, that one doesn't run smoothly, it gets caught uh, as you're turning. Um, obviously there's a, I think there's a gear tooth probably broken inside there and it's not um, working well. Now uh, Anglo have sent me over a whole replacement. Um, so we're simply going to replace the whole unit. Uh, but what I will do, probably as a separate video, is uh, I think I'm going to strip this one down um, just so that we can see uh, how it works and more importantly what the different parts are in there so that if you're having problems with yours uh, and rather than replacing the whole unit you want to replace things like bearings um, perhaps bushes, seals, that sort of thing um, what I'll do is I'll strip that down and measure everything and let you know what parts you should be looking for again thank you very much for watching uh, Sorry that we've had to have this um, segue away from the usual tractor videos, uh, but we're now done, hopefully, and we can move on to the, uh, the service for the International, a couple of other little jobs to do, uh, and then we'll get back to the Ferguson. Once again, thank you for watching, and uh, have a good week, everybody. Cheers for now.